So, you did it, didn't you, right? You ought to act. Miss Mia. <laughs> Looks like we're finally about to get our verdict. That's far enough, Phoenix, right? What? I forgot about Android. Mr. White. I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crime now, hmm? I said you should confess your crime, my friend. Ergo, confess that you placed the wiretap. So I'm just gonna blast through this. Wiretap? Order, order, Mr. Andrews, explain to the court what you mean by this. Distinguished members of the court, Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. I really don't like the way this is headed. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corp. He ordered his secretary and his uncle May to tap the wires. What does that have to do with your honor? The question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office and by who? No, you wouldn't. Mr. White, in order to place the wiretap, you entered Miss Faye's office. Am I correct? Am I correct? Good Lord. Correct. You are most correct, Max. Give me a break. Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I've reached Fang Hula offices. That is when I saw that accursed last step. Well, I'm confused. Please explain how the cure or all this means, Mr. Edgeworth. Gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright has made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass was in the office. He has shown that there was only one time that could have happened, and that very moment of murder. Thus, Mr. Wright would like you to believe Mr. White was the murderer. I see. However, it is a fact Mr. White has been to the office well before the murder took place. He went to place the wiretap. He could have seen the glass light stand there. Ergo, Mr. Phoenix Wright's theory is revealed for the baseless conjecture it is. No, Edgy, you stop the awesome music! You will testify to the court about the wiretap. Ahem, <laughs> leave it to me. I feel faint. Simple man knew the details of the conversation. Right. I press you! So, there were fingerprints saying that he had to have done it. Mr. White, tell us why you went to the Fang Hola offices. Of course, went there to place the wiretap. Hold it! Pretty sure that's legal, but that's what his business does. Honestly, I'm surprised nobody took him to court before this. Does he just have dirt on everybody? Hold it! So he says that the light stand was pretty, and I guess it would be if it was made in entirely of glass. A mutation. His vocabulary is like that beat. I really do love it. It's, it's amazing. Uh-oh. Don't tell me I've run out of ammo. Gavartis Tisk, I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. Gavartis! Now, admit your defeat. You fought honorably. No more. You can't take this anymore. Mr. Wright, are you giving up? Yes, you are. Really, I could have gone for a little longer than you. I could take a non-stop try. Well, you would. Uh, on screen, you were, by the way. Oh, Mia, you're there. Never give up, Phoenix. <laughs> what? Mia!
Yes, Your Honor. Sorry. I'm fine now. Lit light. Give him a chance, Edgy Boy. And he will. Your ego, your cockiness, your set of kaiba ishness will be your downfall. Broken him! Well, Mr. White, can't get out of this one, can you? No, it's impossible. I love his words. I understand there must be a bit of pressure on you, Judge, but I don't think you can uh, judge me guilty under these circumstances. You will! Then, that is all for the trial of Phoenix Rock. Oh. Judge Dink. Not so fast, Phoenix Wright. Eh, what now? No way you can worm out of this. No way, I forgot it's Edgeworth. There is a certain critical logic to the defense's claims. However, there is no concrete proof Phoenix Wright is innocent. Paul, ergo, I would like to request one of my team before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. I need to make one more inquiry into this matter. Hmm? Another inquiry? This isn't going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is bad. I object. Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There is no need to prolong the trial any further. Mr. Edgeworth. If anyone is going to call Mr. White to trial, it would be me, the prosecutor. I need a day, a day to ascertain whether your claims have any basis on factual evidence. Kapaa! I see. Objection to that. <laughs> the trial, Mr. Rapp, will be postponed until tomorrow. There's no telling what'll happen if I can't end this now. I took this sure to come up or make up something. And after Mia showed up to help me in all. Fuck up, Ling. Your Honor, may I go home? Of course, thank you for your time. The witness will stay, and I will prove him guilty. Phoenix, read this note out loud. What is this, Mia? Persistent today. Yeah, this is the trial of my life. Read to the court. Yeah. Metal of Mia had a list of names. They sounded strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities, politicians. That's when it happened. Stop! stop. Cease! Hold! Please! Stop! Make him stop! How? How did you get past that list? Aw, oh, I'm gonna miss doing that voice. And make your guilt right here, right now. Or else this list will be released to the press. Rest in peace, Mr. White's voice. My heart goes out to you. Ah, I, I confess. I confess. I, I did it. I hit her. I hit Miss Mia with the thinker. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. It's closed, Your Honor. I'm gonna pause it momentarily.
talk about as far as a couple seconds into the mix. Turn it out. But I am still here because I wanted to make this joke in my last time with that. Ghost Mia! Always there. Always watching. Scrape me from the last time, still Samurai. The pale moon in the sky cries for blood. Music as well. No, no, it is you who gazed upon the moon. For it'll be the last moon you will ever see. See the hit, evil magistrate. Who is it? Good on. Or your swords. I'm here. What's that surreal show you were watching? <laughs> Nick, you mean you don't know the Steel Samurai? It's only the most popular show for no uh, young people. Young? Like, how young? Yeah. Uh, ten years old? At this point, I looked inside the court record of the profiles and looked up uh, Maya's age, where it said 17. Because I thought that was weird. But are you getting all excited? Hey, I'm only 17. And immediately after that happened, she says her name. At 17, so
Is he gonna be a softy? It's okay, it's the real me. And now you got the part of the steel samurai with the mask. I decided I would never show my face in public until the job's done. The kids, you know, I didn't want to wreck the dreams. Oh. I guess you didn't matter. So much for the dreams. I wonder what they think of the steel samurai now. Oh, he is a softy. Vic, he's a good guy. I mean, he's good. Yeah. He didn't do it. Domino City, the Bowser City, I guess the old Tokyo too. Now, where were you on the day of the murder? Well, that morning I came to the studios and died. We had gruesome fit action scenes still new. The rehearsal was to begin at five, but I was a little tired. So after lunch, I took a nap in my dressing room. When I woke up, it was five. I was late for rehearsal. And then I hurried to the studio and found everyone looking. Rested me on the spot and brought me here. They slipped in the entire afternoon of the murder. Some action hero. Well, the kids think. I should probably check out the uh, scene of the murder. Alright, we'll go studio. So I'll draw you on that. Wow, Nick, let's go! I'm going to bet ten bucks she asked for autographs. My heart goes out to you, Nick. I am. Um, you're there. You want in? You gotta go through me, sonny boy. Oh, sorry. We're, uh, lawyers. Oh, yeah? Ah, well, that's great. I'm security. It's my job to make sure gawkers like you stay out. Gawkers? Gawkers! Thanks to you, tourist. I know the time. You heard about the innocent. You came to snoop around. You today. Something horrible happened to you all. You go sad to have these ladies, don't you have jobs or lawyers not writing the rest of them? Maybe I should become a lawyer too. That sounds like a life of doing whatever you want. I was so young, it's ridiculous. We didn't have strange clothes. What are your clothes? 
summoning my own sun demon for Nicole. Um, Nick, will I grow up to be like her? You just say no. I don't know. It's possible. Hey, listen when you're eating spell cartoon. Ew, said I. Ma'am, I'm gonna have to show you my badge. You're gonna have to let me through. Well, all right. You're gonna let me? Absolutely not. Studios, we make children's dreams come true. In fact, in my younger days. No, you were a star, really? Oh, cool. Only a little twinkle between stars here and there. I'm afraid, dearie. Wow. Wow. This place is really going downhill, you know? Between ten years ago, this was a studio of dreams. Hammer was a big star back then, he was. Hammer? The victim, dummy. The evil magistrate. He's been reduced to playing villains now. Not exactly the best material to work with. I like you. Can you tell me about the Civil Powers? He's not a bad kid. Don't be fooled by the mask. You wouldn't want him on the silver screen without it. Believe me. Little old ladies watching would lose their lunch. That's probably why he thought the Steel Samurai was his big chance. Well, in fact, I've met Sean Schemmel. He's a goat. Uh, this reminds me. Because, uh, he wanted to be a voice actor. Uh, he tried out for Dragon Ball Z. Not by choice. His friends told him he needed to do this. We don't know. Miss Will Powers is guilty. Uh, his friends told him he totally needed to do it. And he went. But he didn't really expect to get in. And he totally did. What kind of person? Oh, if only you knew. Jack Hammer would live him in the hearts of the ultimate action hero. Whoa. Uh, the longer I look at him, the less cool he looks. He started, to, he started out looking like Ryu, then somewhat Aaron Hansen, and then kind of derpy. Should I have heard that? But there was an accident during a film in five years ago. He got an unlucky break after that. Reduced to play the villain of a children's program. Once more, I heard they were paying him peanuts. Enough to make you cry. Why was he suspicious of Hammer of Alex? I was standing right here yesterday, I was. I was in from 10, uh, 1 in the afternoon to 5 when they found the body. The studio where the murder took place to the left of here. If you want to go to the studio, you have to pass by me. Only one person went here between 1 and 2.30 and that's when the murder took place. What if they were already there? It seems like a really, really bad, like... He said if he was sleeping. Oh, I'm sure he would say that. He's not full. He's the only one that walked by. He is the killer. You can bet your biscuits. Isn't it about time for you to be heading home? There's nothing to see here. Move along. Actually, we're here as Mr. Power's request. Herman, I thought you were suspicious looking. Show me a letter of request. Uh, I'm gonna have to get ahead, aren't I? Well, that was me. Hello. I was a studio bum. Think I did it any day. No, not at all. Isn't that right, Nick? Right, not at all. At worst, you're a suspect. And at best, more to be truthful, but truth hurts. Security lady wants a better recommendation. She's terrible. She called me suspicious looking. Well, uh, actually, she sucks up to all the big wigs at the studio, Bob. Let her stumble once and she'll never be up on, let up on you. Uh, she's got thunder. You think you can write a letter allowing us to help? Of course. Just hope this can get past the security lady. Let's talk more, Wolverine. Your alibi apparently doesn't add up. You aren't hiding anything from me, are you? What? No, Bob, I'd never do that. I don't want to be in prison. I'll just be here forever. On aging. Really, uh, if you look at the... Like, well, if you look at, uh... Look at, uh, Hugh Jackman now and then, he pretty much looks the same. Security lady saw you, so she saw you again. There's the theory that one of the celebrities was, like, immortal. I think it was, uh, French Prince of Bel-Air guy. 
I know, I'm sorry. But I swear to you, on my mom's grave, I was sleeping. Mom's dead? Station. You already went in, didn't you? Hey, not bad. Then they suck the face, you yeah, yeah. Well, time to go, Nick. Fifty cents. Lady, I can get fifty cents in my room. It's not bad. Whatever. Thanks, old lady. from the other day. Ah, it's that confused detective. Hey, Val, you know Prosecutor Edgeworth is all upset and it's your fault. I saw him sipping tea and staring at me me out the window. This is a pretty Edgeworth normal thing to do. So? Hey, if he's depressed, it's all your fault for doing a slubby detective work. Aw, you're sorry. Sad though. Detective, I think you were just feeling. Oh no, I, I'm sorry. I think his feelings are easily hurt. You're right, pal. It's all my fault. I can't blame, I can blame other people all I want, but the truth is in my heart. Don't take it so hard. There's always next case. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Hey, what exactly are you two doing here? Uh, well, we're on the case too, pal. <laughs> hey, you can't go see your pal like that. That's my endearing character. No fourth wall. Simple, Val. Murder took place right over there in Studio One. The victim entered Studio One at approximately 1 p.m. At that time, there was no other, there was no one other than the victim in the, in the studio. Oh boy. Cheer me up. Yeah, really? Thank you. Security lady. You know anything about her? Oh, what a that sweet old lady. What a charmer. Why are you talking about the same person? When I showed her my badge, she gave me a donut and some coffee. Remember what Power said. She's a sucker for a party. A sucker. That was fun to say. A sucker. Oh, but she gave you the slice of lettuce, so it's okay. Get in, Odo. Photo of the steel samurai heading to the scene of their crime. What a crack. See that camera up on the gate, pal? The gate? You mean the one with the welcome sign? Yeah. Whatever 
sure someone watched that. The camera automatically snaps a photo of them. Oh no! Nick, he has evidence! We are finished! Funny, for someone with our crew, he doesn't look too happy. I don't think you know, I don't think you believe that that's actual evidence at all. I don't think, I don't think you, I think once we defeated him in Edgeworth, they're gonna, they're gonna change. They know where that lives. I'd like to ask the employees here some questions. Sure thing, pal. Go wherever you like. Of course, you're not going to find any clues I haven't already found. Ha ha ha! I'm glad someone around here seems to be agreeing themselves. Yeah, I believe that would be too good. Got a free pass to the place, another chance to check things out. thought it would be more thrilling to talk with the detective himself. These things are important, you know. I clean blue crap. He just took, uh, he, oh, just to look, there's a camera that took that photo. My job is to check the photos every day, you see. I can't do this voice anymore. I'm going to end up